Good morning, Virgo. This is Shaman Oracle reading, and this reading is for you. On the left, we have the Shaman Dream Oracle card called Spirit of the River. And this card relates to movement, toward adventure, addiction to problems, and allowing and trusting the current. This card invites you to step into the flow and to stop to swim against the current. Allow the waters to carry you downstream. It is time for you to hear the call for a new adventure. Stop working on problems for a while. Things are not what they seem and you are addicted to fix everything that you think has gone wrong. Just work on the greater good and the bad, or rest will resolve itself. There is a force beyond your control right now, and you can do nothing in the moment to change that. So, take a step back and trust the natural flow of things. You will not lose your faith, so to speak, or experience a lack of honor. It is simply best for you to let things take their own dynamic for now. When this card appears, it is time for you to agree and to say yes to events. Your life is like a river inevitably flowing to the sea, which is your divine destination. Be fearless and let the rushing water carry you because the feelings, the thoughts, the beliefs about how things are or should be or could be can be easily fixed by the power of the spirit of the river. Simply let go and enjoy the thrill of the ride, and all will be well, says this card for you, Virgo. Now we come to your angel's ancestor card, the Shaolin Master. And the Shaolin Master, he has the message, slow and steady, breathe and flow, and take a gentle approach to things. The Shaolin Master calls forth the Ninja within. The Shaolin Medicine is about learning to adapt to a situation and to tap into the energy running through your body and preserve it in order to release it at the right moment. It also teaches subtlety because when you are too forceful you use too much energy and that may not be supportive of what you want to achieve. The Shaolin master like a monk has respect for all things. He is disciplined and organized to guide his art. He will never use it to impress the foolish or to appear stronger than someone who is threatening him. You too are being invited to remain graceful in your movements, choices and actions. You are being guided to flow like water, be like the air and connect with your purest intentions. Don't feel the need to rush ahead because a gentler approach will be more fruitful and rewarding. More with, move with subtlety and grace. Reach high, but also ask yourself how you can move with the flow of life rather than pushing against it. Ask yourself, can I slow down or can I take more time to soften and breathe as I move 
forward, all of this will be beneficial to you for what happens next. Now, next card is Divine Feminine card called Enheduanna, the High Priestess. Enheduanna embodies the ability to become one with our soul, to live out our highest purpose. Born in Mesopotamia during the Akkadian Empire around 2000, 285 BCE, and Hedwana is considered not only the first known female poet, but also the first named literary author in history. It is believed that Enheduanna was the daughter of the Sumerian king Sargon of Akkad. She was given the title of N, which signified her tremendous political power. Sargon of Akkad named her the high priestess of the most important temple in Sumer. And she was charged with the lofty task of combining the Sumerian gods and goddesses with the Arcadian ones to create stability in the empire. And Hedwana composed 42 hymns. Her most famous works are titled The Exaltation of Inanna and the Sumerian Temple Hymns. Her hymns were co copied and used long after her death and considered immensely valuable, equal to the inscriptions of kings. She is credited with creating the structure of poetry, psalms and prayers that were then used throughout the ancient world. Her hymns influenced and inspired the prayers and psalms of the Hebrew Bible and the Homeric epics. It is believed that Enheduanna reached a semi-divine status in her lifetime and that she was considered to be the embodiment of the Sumerian goddess Inanna. This card is teaching us that we all have a personal myth. We all have an Ishtadeva a personal deity who inspires and compels us to bring heaven right here on earth by moving us and convict us that, that the divine has led us to feel that way. And Hedwana encourages us to integrate our light and our dark to bring our unconscious aspects of self into consciousness. The High Priestess is often described as the guardian of the unconscious. She is that aspect in all of us that holds the veil of awareness that separates us from our inner depths. And Hedwana is about merging the awareness of our soul and all the love and power it gives us with our individual personality or ego, what Carl Jung would call personality one and personality two. So Virgo, and Hedwana wants you to breathe and live your soul. She wants you to become so intimate with it that there is no longer any separation and there are no more excuses or apologies for how powerful you are because, Virgo, you are the High Priestess. Now we come to your animal spirit card, which is the deer. The deer is like a good mother 
loving, graceful and intuitive. The deer represents the feminine aspects of the earth energy. energy. This energy is available to all of us, no matter what gender, but it is especially potent in new parents. In the very first days of parenthood, the mother as well as the father, they are fully present, nurturing, proud and caring. They are proud because a new life has come to be because of them through the grace of that higher might called spirit. The inner beauty radiates throughout the house and calms the rooms. A dear personality affects others similarly, drawing them toward a quiet tenderness. The dear card may appear when a birth takes place or the celebration of new life draws near or will go it just could mean that a situation in your life asks you to especially gentle to be especially gentle and caring so that was the reading for virgo i thank you virgo for listening i hope you come back next time when I have another reading for the sign of Virgo. I wish you a wonderful day, take care and goodbye.